Hey YouTube, Nitro Rednecks here. Um, today I'm uh, doing the electric over hydraulic pump for my uh, my Fisher plow. Got it all painted up. Brackets half painted. Anyway, my pump wouldn't work. Here's mine on the floor. Here's some parts. Lots of parts, motor. Anyway, I wanted to do a little walkthrough on anybody thinking about uh, you're having issues with your pump, whatever. They're uh, pretty simple. Basically, this whole setup right here. Uh, this is your uh, tilt, left and right. So here's the one off of my old pump. I took it all apart. Basically, what I did, I, I washed everything. Blew out all the holes, every single hole. Uh, you got these plates, one plate goes on, uh, and then this goes on. Uh, you have this machine here that turns back and forth. That's for your left and right. Left and right. Uh, when you remove this, uh, there's a flat head screw right here. Pull that out. This whole thing pulls out. There's an O-ring in the center of this. Uh, prevents the oil from sp spewing out, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, in the middle of this is a really thin, it's a see-through uh, gasket, I guess. So anyway, I don't have it. I broke one. And anyway, I had to use the other one. So between this and this here, is that see-through gasket and what I learnt when I was reinstalling this on the other one there's no gasket here so this all goes like that then I made a gasket to fit right here and sit here uh, basically what the problem I was having was this here sits in this hole and it was going down too deep and once this was all tightening up this wouldn't move left and right, it was seized. So I made a gasket, put a thin gasket, and as you can see right here, solved the problem. All right, so that's your left and right tilt. Here's your pump. Uh, you have your screen, your filter screen. This is the center, you break that apart. I don't really know too much about this, but uh, it's the first time I ever tore one apart, so I'm just going, whatever, just, I'm just winging it. <laughs> um, yeah, so this goes here, and that goes there. <clears throat> so, yeah. So this here goes on to your electric motor, this turns that. That turns the gear, and basically, I don't know if you can split this again. No, I don't think so. But anyway, uh, this must create some kind of flow inside of here, and that builds pressure and works everything, I guess. Uh, let's see, we got this here. Uh, I removed it just to see what's going on. So it just loosened this nut just a little tiny bit. Just enough, just to break it. Uh, screw this out, and what's behind here is your sp spring and everything. So I figure what this must be for is for your flow rate. So you just in or out for more pressure or less pressure, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, so what I did, like I said, loosen this just enough, just to screw this out if you want to clean all inside, uh, all inside of here. And then when you reinstall it, just turn this all the way in make sure this does not turn once it gets snug or fairly tight then tighten your nut again and that way there you don't screw up your uh, your flow rate I guess uh, this motor here this actually works uh, I don't have that one tore apart but I have this one tore apart so basically all it is, is uh, 
basically a starter. Here's an old starter I have. This is an old uh, 6.2 diesel starter. Uh, it's not quite the same, it's a little longer. As you can see, there, this, this is the one I need. That's the one out of the starter. Pretty similar. Uh, so yeah, basically I have this all ready. I got this all cleaned up. Everything's all done in here. Uh, got it all inside there, all nice and clean. Ready to install this pump that I have all clean and ready to go. So there's the one ready this. So I'll install that. Install the cover, uh, tear this electric motor apart and clean that all up, make sure all the brushes, everything's good, clean, uh, making contact, what I mean by brushes, these are your brushes, that's what makes your motor turn, your brushes sit against here, so what you always want to do, you want to make sure these are clean, and these are free, uh, I'll show you, uh, right here, this type of brush, Right here, you sit inside. You sit inside the holes like that. Sometimes, what happens? They'll sit in here so long, like this, uh, especially if you have an old one, and then they'll get seized in there, so they're not springing out. They're not springing out like that. They're not making contact with the amateur whatever the copper pieces, and uh, it'll stop it from working. So if you have a motor that's electric motor, basically any more motor, vacuum cleaner, skill saw, anything, they mostly have brushes. Um, uh, so that would be your issue right there. Would be, uh, you probably have a stuck brush. You pull that off, look at your brushes, clean them up, spray a little bit of oil on them, uh, free them up, clean them, put it back together and you'll be good to go. <clears throat> so, anyway, uh, you have any questions about these motors? Like I said, I don't really know too much. I'm just going by what what I'm seeing. Just slowly going with the with the flow. Uh, but you have any questions? Uh, they're not that hard to work on, so uh, I'll try to help you all I can. You like this video? Please like, share, and subscribe.